everyone, today's video is going to consist of one bullet journal, one pen, and one 10 minute timer. I often get comments on my videos along the lines of, Caitlin, I want to start a bullet journal on my own and make my bullet journal so beautiful, but I just don't have time. Whenever I get those comments, I always tell people, you know, bullet journals don't have to be as decorative as the spreads that I show in my plan with me. You can make them a lot more simple. You don't need to take as much time with them. The spreads that I show on videos usually do take me a little bit longer because I'm obviously making them for videos and I want them to be sources of inspiration for people. But the whole point of bullet journaling is that it's customizable. It can be anything you want it to be and it doesn't have to be so elaborate. But if you want your bullet journal to look cute, I wanted a way to show you that, hey, if you even have 10 minutes, you can still make a cute bullet journal. Maybe it won't be as detailed as maybe some of the spreads that I show, but it is possible. So I thought I would challenge myself today to do a full bullet journal spread under 10 minutes. So without further ado, let's get started. And there you go, 13 seconds remaining. So I am under the 10 minute mark. Let's now go through the pages. I have a really simple month at a glance over here, a sample tracker that does both some daily tasks and also tracks my mood. So the top half is for hydration, vitamins, meditation, and tidying. And then the second half is for whether I'm happy, neutral, stressed, or sad on that particular day. So if I'm sad on the first, I'll put a dot right there. And on the second, I'm feeling kind of neutral. Then on the third, I actually feel really happy and I stay happy on the fourth and the fifth and maybe a little bit neutral on the sixth. What I would do is I just connect these dots as I go, so it will become like a little line graph. And up top, I would just fill this in like a regular tracker. So if I hydrated, I'd color in a box. If I meditated, I'd color in a box. If you wanted to, you could include a legend at the bottom here that kind of tells you what each letter represents. Moving on to the weekly spread. This is a spread that I do often um, in the fact that I just will write the days of the weeks with different kinds of fonts or different variations to the font. It's simple, it's fast, and I just think it's a really great way of adding some creativity to your spread. On the next page here, I did a sample like to-do list and a to-read list and some motivational quotes. In a typical bullet journaling video that I do, I usually make these quotes a whole page or take up a whole page and I break out my tombos, make it extra fancy, but you really don't need to do that. Uh, and then here too with my gratitude page, I just simply cursive to gratitude and a great way to add some fun detail is to just use your pen and just create little dots. They're very simple pages, but I still think they look adorable and I didn't take very long to do them. As you saw, this took less than 10 minutes to create. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'd love to hear in the comments below how much time you spend a week bullet journaling. I'm really curious to hear your answers and to maybe spark some discussions in the comment section down below. I will see you all very soon with a new video. Please leave any video recommendations also in the comment section down below, and I will see you all very soon. Bye, everyone.